Okay, let's bring to order the finance committee meeting. And um, tonight's meeting on our agenda. Going to the paper shop shuffle. Here we go. Uh, so our essentially we'll, we will review all funding sources. We will vote on every um bond budget. Um and then we will entertain anything after that. Prior to that, we will take a look at the uh, the minutes from our last meeting on April 30th. Have you had a chance to look at those? Yeah, I make a vote to the second. I'll second it. Okay. There, you want? Um, JD, just go ahead and second that. You want to take a look at the minutes? Go ahead. We'll just take a second so you can take a look at the minutes and and, and vote for the minutes. Just want to be clear. The capital request for the mini splits, yep. we're only funding 60% of that. 40% of that's going back to us. Correct. Okay. Correct. Except, and we're doing it except the electrical or? Well, I don't think the electrical has come, but we're not getting that back. That's not. But 60% of our 40% will be funded with this. Yes. Okay. That was so, my interpretation. That's you mean through the rebates? So we have to rebates. fund 100%. And then, then yeah. we're going to tell them. And then we get a track, track that they come back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm That's the important go. piece. And that is even though we're funding it over two years or two phases? Or we're going to all one phase? It'll be two. Two, FY26. Two different years. Yeah, that's how it's been Are we guaranteed to get those rebates? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm. Nothing's guaranteed. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's a guarantee. I mean, we, we got splits, but maybe it's different, but we got splits put in our house recently, and it was clear from the beginning there's no guarantee. Really? Okay. I got a guarantee. From the installers or yeah. from the state? Well, I didn't talk about it. Did the installers process the. Yeah. Okay, maybe. So we can use a tunnel. I don't know. Okay. This rebate is from Eversource. According to Darius Modesto, superintendent, yeah. my understanding is that at least for that first year, that is guaranteed. Now, if we find going forward that the subsequent mini splits are not uh, rebated, rebated, then we can adjust whatever we need to adjust to make that real. And there's already one school in the district that has them. Right. So we can see how they're how doing they're relative correct. Sure. as a check-in, I think, as a yeah. bellwether. Thank you, Paul. Very excellent comments about it. It's potential cooling, it's potential cooling center for people. Yeah, I thought that. that was a terrific point. Thank you. Cooling, cooling center, if we don't have one, yeah. it's getting warmer. We'll probably keep the building at a you know a relative cool temp. Why not? Yep. It doesn't actually the whole building. Right. I guess it no, it doesn't. Something's going to get cheaper. No, 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 no get, you get less chance next year or maybe it's okay. I'm good. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Um so we had um we had a second on it, so let's vote, Brenda. Hi. Aye. Jim. Aye. Paul. Aye. Aye. Jim. Paul. Aye. aye. Tommy. Aye. Uh, unanimous. Okay. All right. So now we get into the budgets themselves. 
Um, I'm going to uh, stop here for a second. And like all meetings, I'm going to take and ask for public comment time. If there's any public comments, this is the time to do it. There won't be public questions afterwards. When we start to discuss it, it will be between, it'll be amongst the select board, I mean, the finance committees and the select boards are not here. Um, so, are there any comments? Any, Keith? Yes, no? No, I'll just sit in and offer an answer if I'm asked. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, tonight, um, we will be using <laughs> the uh, draft number eight of the general government and the other um, departments that are, that are around here. Um, and before that, um, we will also we will also use the capital side of things, but we've been provided with a uh, project request list, the dollars, <clears throat> and if you look down the page, there's also, there are a few blank spots. Blank spots are there for what, for transfer, general stabilization, capital stabilization, vehicle and building stabilization. In the past, we have put months into those stabilization accounts um, for use downstream. So we have that. And before I get going any further, Trish, would you like to, um, jump in here and talk a little bit about what you've been doing and where we are. Um, sure, so um, lots of decisions to make tonight relative to the operating budget. You've heard all the departments and boards and committees come in. Um, I think it's fair to say that um, the town side of the budget is up pretty nominally um, for requests uh, in terms of operational budgets. Um, the big number there is probably the wage and salary adjustments, which you've heard about already. Um, you've had both the Frontier and Tech School and Frontier um, budget presentations come in and their numbers. Capital, um, from what you've identified as being sort of inclined to already, you don't have enough sources of funds uh, to fund everything that you may be favorably inclined to, and certainly do not if you plan to consider any appropriations into vehicle stabilization, town building stabilization, capital, or general stabilization. Sure. Um, in your packet, Lynn, and I have tried to provide uh, information to you on um, your funding options, um, the select board has not determined the use of ARPA funds. There is a potential to use some of the ARPA funds. We have about 118,000 left to allocate and um, have a contracted use for those, if you will, by December 31st. 118 or 118? 118. Yes. Um, well, we've used, yep. we had quite a bit more than that, but it's already um, spoken for. Um, and relative to areas to cut in the operating budget, they really, uh, it was quite de minimis um, in terms of areas that we could identify. Your revenue tracks for FY24 in terms of um, receipts are pretty much on track from what they were last year. Um, we went with the governor's budget for our state aid projections. The house budget only gave us about a $13,000 pickup. So it was really not much at all. So there was no, no reason to really change those revenue projections. Um, looking at the expenditures for FY23 for the first half, I mean, FY24 for the first half of FY24, to see if you know we funded a budget on the town side that was you know really underspent by you know it's only spent thirty percent of its budget we're at forty nine point nine six wow. as of <laughs> December thirty first um, 
So, um, you know, that's a good thing, I guess, in terms of what you approve and recommend. You're running a tight ship and also testament to your department heads. Um, so, Absolutely. again, I think general government sort of speaks for itself. We have some hard decisions, I think, to make around capital. And I'm um, happy to answer any questions as we go along tonight. Sure. Are there any questions about the process or how we're going to roll this out right now? Um, and we've, we've discussed most of these budgets. We've had the, um, the top heads come in to speak to the budgets. So um, if there's a question, bring it up because someone here will have an answer um, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, okay, so we'll just take it from the top. Um, let's so that I so that you don't hear my voice for the entire night. Um, let's uh, let's start with Tom and we'll go this way. We'll take each of the departments and essentially we're doing this for ourselves but we're also doing this for the um the listeners who are watching this meeting so they know what we're talking about um obviously this will come back on town floor um next well in june okay tom all right, we're going to do general government. So we'll start with general government. Okay. You want to do total? You want to do each department or just on total on the bottom? No, I think we want to do total on the bottom. We want to we want to see what the operating budget is, what the dollar difference is, percentage, and leave it at that. All right, the increase in general government is seventy thousand nine hundred ninety. Dollars and forty nine cents, so it's a, which is a twelve point five eight percent increase. Okay, and the biggies that stand out are treasurer, collector, town accountant. Most of these went. The number of hours went up, <laughs> so there's not a lot you can do about them. Yep. Uh, so the grand total for that department is six fifty five four ninety six. Is that right, Trish? Total budget? Yeah. Yes. Trish? Or is it six thirty five two sixty five? We have operating budget and total budget. Okay. Operating the, budget. Operating. Okay, so we're voting the operating. We're gonna budget. vote. On uh, general government, 655, 496. Okay. Is that right? So with with uh, 635. 635. Yeah. Okay, we're going to vote 635, 265, 49. Uh, question. Okay. We're, we're voting on the operating budget. We're voting on the operating yeah. budget. What's the Why not the total? Well, what's the difference? What's the difference? Hold on, hold on. Well, I can tell you right now, building operations, and you look at it, that's three grand. That's not in the office. Why is that? No, you're voting you're voting on the 635, 265, 49. 49. Yeah. I mean, what's, the, what's the difference between the operating budget and the total budget? Um I believe trying to figure out. Looks like here is that it? The six fifty five was totally requested, and we it was somewhere yes. along the line. Thank changed. you, Tommy. Tommy, thank you. Okay. So those were the reductions that we were able to make as it went along. So if you look at this sheet that you were reading off of, and you follow, oh, that's yeah. where the yeah, yeah reading. you're reading off of that one, but this is the summary sheet, okay. and that has the six thirty five on it. Okay. Yeah. So that so the two zero two five budget. Total budget is what the department had originally requested. Yeah. And then the 630. There was a the, reduction in the for some of, tunnel administrator. For some of them. Right. Some odds. Okay. Gotcha. 
Okay, so that's the differential. Okay, so we will be voting. We will be discussing the operating budget. So before we vote, any questions on the operating budget for general government? Any comments? Okay. We will vote. Brenda. No motion necessary. I'm just saying aye. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if there was any motion uh, to accept. So I make a motion. We are to, for general government, we're going to appropriate $635,265.49. Second the motion. And we will vote along the lines. Let's start with Tom. We'll end up with aye. Tommy is yes. Paul, yes. Aye. Jim? Aye. Paul? Aye. Dan? Aye. Jim? Aye. Brenda? Aye. Okay. Very good. All right. Culture, recreation services. Fiscal year 2025. The operating budget is $187,002. Differential being $8,671 for a percentage increase of 4.86%. Um, okay. Um, any questions about culture, recreation? Right Town Beach. Rec, Cemetery, Library, South County Senior Center, Council on Aging, Red Services, Historical Commission. Okay. Make a motion. We approve the cultural and recreational budget of $187,002. I second. second. Okay. You know what we're going to do from here? It's a great idea. Let's just go. All, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, yeah, Opposed? Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Yeah, it's a whole year since we've done this. So we're going to cut the movie down to that. Exactly. It's this. Next one is public health, consisting of Board of Health, Foothills Health District, Transfer Station, Hazardous Waste, Franklin Solid Waste Management. Total budget 119.772. Bulk of the increase is in the transfer station. So the increase for that segment is 17%. So it's the, uh, it's the transfer station yeah. that has come up significantly. And Fran spoke to that. Yeah, right. The labor is the uh, increased labor. Uh, labor. Yeah. yeah. Any questions, thoughts about public health? <laughs> okay. No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Ready. Away we go. Paul. Oh, I thought Jim. Jim. Oh, Jim, Jim, Jim. Okay, this is for public safety, including fire department, South County, Neomet, Police Department, Animal Control, Animal Inspection, Emergency Management, Franklin County Inspection Services, Operating Budget of Five hundred and thirty-four thousand nine hundred and fifteen dollars. And that is an increase of nine point five four percent from the twenty twenty-four operating budget. Questions, thoughts, concerns. So public safety is about ten percent, forty-six thousand dollars. They just want to sell county, county. Yes. and not control it. Right. <clears throat> um, no. All right. I make a motion. We appropriate $534,915 for public safety. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Yay. Dan. All right. Nice public works. Salaries, General Highway, Winter Roads. Road machinery, garage maintenance, trees. Uh, for a budget of $485,878, difference of 37, one, 37 139 with an increase of 7.48%. I got 32. Okay, it says 32. The difference is hard to read. 32, okay. it's grayed out. 
Difference is 32, 139. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, the, uh, the largest increase that we see in this group is from salaries, which was 7.92%. Um, no, I'm sorry, following that is winter roses at 9.81, 15,184. What are you gonna do? Uh, you gotta have your roads clear. Um, any questions, thoughts, okay? I make a motion we appropriate four hundred eighty-five thousand seven or eight hundred and seventy-eight dollars for public works. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Insurance and benefits, property and liability insurance, group health insurance, Medicare and Social Security, <clears throat> workers' compensation, life, retirement payout. Unemployment insurance, retirement, police and fire injury, injured on duty insurance, OPEB trust, and division of Medicaid assistance. Operating budget of $917,637.90, an increase of $70,730.90 for percentage increase of 8.35%. Questions, thoughts? Okay. Nothing we can do about it. You I mean, need to pay it or you don't have insurance. Um, I make a motion we appropriate $917,637.90 to fund insurance and benefits. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, All those opposed? Okay. And unclassified, which for those of us who are new to unclassified, that consists of reserve fund, practical FERCOG, physicals and tests, town vehicles, fuel, and educational incentives. The fifth and last one of those being zero in 2024 and 2025. And the uh, operating budget for 2025 is $75,720,000. The difference between 24 and 25 is $3,197,000 or 4.41%. Make a motion. Any okay. questions? Sorry, I got ahead of it. Okay. Make, Go ahead, Brenda. Make a motion to allocate okay. appropriate. Okay. Thank you. Um, $75,722,000 for the unclassified fund. So, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. All right. So here we come on to the back here. Uh, this is where, this is the meat and potatoes page. Uh, so uh, what we have is, um, um, what we have is the Whitley Elementary School budget. We have Frontier Regional School totals. Um, we have well. Let me just read it off. I I, I don't think we'll um, we'll go, we will discuss it. I'll read it off and we will have a discussion. First of all, Whitley Elementary School. And an operating budget of two million fifty four thousand eight hundred fourteen dollars for an increase of one hundred eight thousand four hundred ten dollars for an increase of five point five seven percent overall. Frontier Regional School has an operating for the, for the town of Wake has an operating budget of $1,035,638 for an $89,370 increase, which means 9.44% increase. Um, I'll just jump down to Franklin County Tech. Franklin County Tech has an operating budget for the town of Waitley of $321,974 which is a decrease of $47,934, a decrease of 
percent total. So that's what we have. So the assessment, yeah, is based on number of people sending to tech. Correct. To tech. Just the tech. Just the tech. Just the tech. Right. Just the number of kids. That's it. Yeah. I think it was from 20 to 18 or 18 to 16. Mm -hmm. There's some number changed by two students. So, right. It's going to vary in the year. Yeah. Yep. Oh. And, uh, the frontier one is, I don't think there's a person in this room that can figure out that formula. It was set up 25 years, years, years ago, and you're never going to change it. Last year, we made out pretty good. Yep. You know, this year, we're getting it tucked right to us. Not so much. No nope. problem. Uh, yeah, this is the way it works. There's very little steerage um, from our position on the frontier budget. Um, only because it obviously consists of four towns, we're only a piece of it. Um, not so <laughs> true for the Wakeley Elementary School right. budget. We are uh, in complete control of that budget to a to a to a point. Um, and right now we have we have a five point five seven percent um, increase. We um, following this, following these, um, yeah, we will look at the capital. Yeah, and then we will make a decision what aligns best with the needs of the town to maintain services, but also to moderate um, the taxation. Um, so what I would like to do is I'd like to just, for right now, table the schools and not vote on the schools. And we, we can come back to the schools. So we can look at the schools as we look at capital. Well, the only one that we can look at is Wakey. Correct. Okay, so you want to throw it on Frontier and well, the tech school, or you want well, to we wait? we could, but they're all right. kind of all together. All right. We've got to vote that bottom number. Yep. Okay. So yep. we, we so the capital expenses they're asking are included in the operating no, budget. No, 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 no. That's a seven. Yeah. That's seven. Okay. So now let's just switch gears a little bit and take a look at capital expenditure requests. And um and as you can see, the, the, the sheet that we were um, provided with from Trish, um right now, our tax rate and our tax levy um, for just for everybody's understanding at home, as well as around the table, if we were to fund everything as requested, um, our tax rate would be $14.71 for a difference of $1.02 per thousand. That's a, nearly a seven and a half percent increase. Um, in the levy, how much we would have to bring in would be an increase of $366,274.29. Which would mean that the town of Waitley uh, needs five million two hundred sixty-four thousand seven hundred twenty dollars and thirty-nine cents in order to operate function in twenty twenty-five. Uh, so let's um, let's take a look at the. Um, You're looking at this sheet, correct? Yeah. I'm looking at that one and in in this and one here. Yeah. This one. Okay. Those two are the those two are the uh pages that that we're working on. Um so Trish, what if uh, could you give us a a thumbnail as to as we reduce 
the impact on the tax rate. Is that possible? So let's say so let's say we want to take let's say right now the tax rate is uh is or is going to be fourteen dollars and seventy one cents. Let's you know last year was thirteen dollars and sixty nine cents. Let's say we just wanted this to be fourteen, or we wanted it to be thirteen dollars and eighty cents. As we trim, can we? look at or predict what that the change in that rate um i mean not here now to exact penny but um but we have two ways of doing that you can cut into the operating budget significantly or to a degree i mean you're really talking pennies so when you say you want it if you want it to be what did you just say 14 let's we'll say 14 dollars so you're talking 71 cents. 71 cents. Right. Um, and you're already subsidizing that rate with 225000 of free cash. Correct. So the option is cut the operating budget or use, cut, you know, don't fund capital and use more free cash to subsidize the rate. So you're, those are your two options. Right. You're going to spend the money either way. So then if you back away, say you wanted to just, even though you just voted it, you, what if you wanted to go back and look at the operating budget? You, so then you have to look at your fixed costs and your highest increase is just off the top, health insurance, 8%, pension, 7%, right? Yep. So uh, employee buyouts, the, the those are the three biggest things driving the highway because you have two new timings coming up. Right. So the fixed cost, when you back out the fixed cost in the operating budget, um, general liability insurance that you just can't touch sure. because it's a fixed talk. cost, then what are you really looking at and what's an appreciable amount of money to get a realizable cut then you really then we have not, to dig deep. You'd really you you're into box. Yeah, yeah. If you're talking to go from fourteen seventy one to fourteen, right, right. And you've seen we started off. I mean, you've had. I don't know if any of you've saved this, but even yeah. when we've done the pickups and reduced and done here and there, it's only it been a couple of cents. So seventy one cents would be. Catastrophic. This conversation is very important to have. The reason it's important is because town taxpayers need to hear that. If we want to reduce that rate appreciably, then it has to be have to cut into operating budgets, um, and um, so. Which are identifying personnel from. Yeah. So, um, Jim so stands for trail. Jim, they, well, see, they seem pretty conservative. They are like budgets. Yes. There was a lot of places to trim it, and a couple hundred dollars here and there. And they're going to go trim it. Nothing was outrageous. I completely agree. I think that, that they know what they're coming before when they come before finance it. We come modestly. So, uh, you know. Well, the other thing, I've worked in eight communities and I've been so impressed since I've been here. But we share everything. You know, we just started sharing the assessors. We're going to share a conservation agent. We share yep. the ambulance. We share an accountant. We share our health services. Yep. Um, so we're really being innovative. We have a grants person that is bringing in a tremendous amount of funds. I mean, for a community this size, you're doing tremendous things. But as Dan just said, everything is going up. Yep. And the health insurance and pension costs are killing every community, every community. Yeah. And when we are allowed to go up two and a half percent on our levy limit and our health insurance and pension is going up 
to eight and seven yeah. percent. I mean, we're behind the eight ball before you even open your budget book every year. Yeah. yeah. And you have an incredibly high amount of free cash that you're generating every year. Yep. You're being conservative in projecting your revenues. You're doing everything right. It's just the forces are working against you. I agree. Including reductions in the cherry sheet. Well, not, not technically a reduction, just no increases. Okay. It's, sta it's been no. stable or minuscule increases for that, year. that amounts to a, a reduction right i suppose it does situation but Actually. you don't have a lot of predictability and consistency in the school formula for your enrollment you do i mean you can know within a couple of students but how that translates into the per pupil expenditure that you're going to get under the formula each year can vary widely and so and the tech school Anybody can guess. Mm -hmm. So that inability to know the predictability, you're going to have a good year, you're going to have a bad year. Yeah. And hopefully that reconciles with the year that, you know, <laughs> your revenues are good, your election was good, you just never know. So the understanding is, and I, cho I chose $14 because it's a nice round number. And you can take a, and so understand that in order to reduce the tax rate by 71 cents per thousand, you would have to have a significant impact on services within the town because of what we just spoke about. So uh, with that said, I want to move to the capital and let's, uh, let's go through it and then we'll go back to um, Schools, we'll vote that in, then we'll vote the entire number. Okay. All righty. So um, we'll take a look at the project name, project request, um, and we'll go that way. Okay. So the first two are joined at the hip. And I, go ahead. I think we should take all the item, all the capital items that are related to the school and put them, you know, for the sake of discussion, okay, put them all together. Okay. And that comes up to 75000 Okay. That's the sub panel. The first phase of the mini splits, the floor replacement, the door replacement, and the yep. duct cleaning. Yep. Is there anybody see anything else on there? And those ducts might be funded with our, but we're not sure. Okay. Well, that's, I'm just yeah. lumping them all together. We still haven't figured out how we're going to fund all these things. <laughs> yep. So, what I'm getting at is when you look at the Wakeley Elementary School budget, of two million fifty four thousand, it's really two point two two five roughly, because we're supplementing that budget even more by doing building maintenance out of our capital, which is, that's what our capital is for. We own the school. Yeah, uh, the building is ours. You gotta keep in mind how old that school is. That's too. right. It's not gonna get any cheaper. Oh no, no, no. Nope. Um, nope. I, I don't. It's see gonna it. need a roof. It's, you know. Yeah. I don't yeah. see this path of discussion being productive because we are in a situation where we're gonna have to take care of that. Yeah. For a second, twenty years older, you gotta do it. Sure. In the budget, we still gotta have the operating budget. We still gotta have the salary increase. Everything else that goes yeah. along with it. Yeah. yeah. Bottom line. It is, it is, it, that is part of life. Um, Difficult, but, but you have to be, yeah. you, you have to look at it with a critical eye yeah. and you have to question why things are what they are on paper. The, um, the, the total amount of money for that elementary school budget for general repairs and supplies is $32,500 to keep up with the upkeep of that building. Yeah. 
that's a lot of that's, building to keep up. They're 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 trying to water it best. Yeah, at best. That one needs to be done there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't you spend any more on house in here to keep yeah. it going? We're trying to keep the school together. Mm -hmm. So um so um yeah. What would you say the urgency of that this project is for which one? The splits. Uh, it's, it's been in the system, you know, it's been discussed and been in the system for a while. And I, I'm not passionate about supporting the splits because I don't think it's the right way to do it. But for a dollar wise, from what he said, it's going to be half a million dollars to fix the system we have versus something that we're going to pay a couple of thousand dollars for the rebates. It kind of makes sense to do this. I'm reluctant to support it. So when you got the capital sheet um, last time, this one, yeah, yeah. Um, Lynn had put the um, school projects in the right-hand corner under CLRF, which is the green community. Yeah. So um, I ran that down this week with Sylvie. Um, the next funding round for green communities is October 7th, closing October 18th. These projects would be eligible for a green communities grant. It's competitive, but there is an option for us to submit them, not the duct cleaning, but no, the but splits. The splits. I'm not even sure about the electric panel, but certainly the splits. Okay. Um, even maybe phase two, I don't know. And then we would know by January at the latest um, whether we got the grants for that. Okay. Would they be grants for the whole? It's a 10% uh, cash match. So on that total, we're talking about 11000 But we, in this budget, we need, we need to fund the first phase of this because I'm assuming they're going to want to put these in starting Well, that's July why I asked month. about the urgency. Yeah. Because yeah. we could... So Hopefully. if they got the fund, so it's like, what's, it's a chicken or an egg kind yeah. of thing, right? So we submit a grant in October. Mm -hmm. We find out if we have it in January. If they got the money July 1, would they be putting the split, go out to bid or have Eversource come in and do the work over the summer? So it would be in place for next summer. Or would that be a 2025 project anyway? I'm just spitballing here, but. It is a project that could be considered for green communities. Could the second part, the phase two, be in that? I think so, and yeah. If we went ahead with phase one, would they look at phase two as being independent and being able to... Um, I don't see why not. I mean, we've already... Uh, um, phase two isn't on this. I've pushed it out to FY26 yeah. on so this so, anyway. Yeah. So I don't know how the Eversource rebate would work. With the grant, it's independent. Yeah, yeah. The system's it's a still, system. It, it's still being played. That's the incentive so for. We, we yeah. fund this. We'll just get the grant of the rebates would come back to free cash, basically. Yeah. Well, they would anyway. Yeah. 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 And we have to make sure we track it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's just something to consider. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I think that one key issue which we've talked about is time. Yeah. And we don't have any control over that with regard to the rebates. Right. And as you say, the Green Communities Act is no given either. And it's not, I mean, did you say 11,000 or 10,000? It's a 10% cash match on whatever the total would be. For the two For whatever. The full day splits. Or you could do for phase one or phase two, I yeah. don't think. So the next time, so the phase one is 63. Phase two is going to be a little less. So 55. So 55, you said 10%? Yes. Yeah. So I figured 11, for, I added the two together. It was 109, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wouldn't want to lose 40% up front. So um, that's huge. What do you think? That's huge. That's big. And, uh, and, and, and again, Paul's come about a cooling center for seniors. Right. Right. Um, okay. So if we appropriate for the first phase, 
we still apply for the grant, or once we do it, we own it. We don't can't apply for the grant. We can apply for the grant for phase two. Okay, yeah. And that's not in the mix now? No, right. Okay. Let's just take what we just discussed, all of you, all right. and we will we will vote on it. So, motion. Do I have a motion? What was the dollar amount time total? Uh, one hundred seventy-five thousand. But we're not going. We're not. Yeah. He doesn't. Paul doesn't want to do it that. No. Way. We're gonna. We're gonna do them by one of each item, which is fine. Because no one will ever see one hundred seventy-five thousand. No, anywhere on no. any document. No. So the document that we have in front of us right, right now, installation of electrical sub panels for Wakeley Elementary School at $54,000. All right. I make a motion we appropriate $54,000 from available funds. Any questions? For the Wakeley Elementary School mini sports. Okay. No, sub panel. Sub panel. Sub panel. Pardon me. Sub panel. Any questions? Or Second. All those in favor? Uh, I uh, all those opposed? Okay. So that, so, so there's a yes. Second point right here. Um, go ahead, Jim. You take that one. Installation of many split heat pumps. Yep. 63,000. I'll second it. Okay. Motion's on the floor for $63,000. Installation of mini split heat pumps and weekly elementary school. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. Okay. Let's go right around the room. Paul. Oh, next. Uh, yeah, the next item. Well, what list you on? Capital or? Yeah. Capital? Yeah. This list right here. Okay. Same well, on capital. Well, the big print. Yeah. Flooring replacement. Pre-K restrooms for ten thousand dollars. I'll second it. Questions? We got a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Dan. Uh, exterior door replacement thirteen thousand five hundred. Questions? It's been a while since we talked about that. They want to replace all three. They're the bad. Main They're door. bad. This, bad. These are no. They're not good. They're not good. I'll it's second it. It's a safety. It has three doors. It's a good three price. doors. Three doors. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor? Uh, uh, okay. I'm going to jump in here for the air packs. Replace air packs. We uh, can do the duct cooling. What? The duct cooling. It's that's down the list. It's I down the list. School first. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to lump them together. No. So. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Uh, it's not so, a priority. Priority is. The they are right, right. Um, the ear packs for the fire department. Um, asking $183,000 uh, to replace those packs, 15 packs. Um, my understanding, our understanding is that, that there may be a grant, yeah, and the indication is that if it's not funded, the chance of the grant is much greater. So, <clears throat> so if in fact we fund this, um, high likelihood the grant won't come through. Okay. So, but could we take these monies Put them aside. Yeah. And put it into capital stabilization. And then if in fact the grant doesn't come through, we have a fallback and we can hopefully provide backpacks, air packs for the fire department downstream. Um seems to be a safety issue. And um, you know. It's an important thing. So uh, I'll just kick that around. And what do you think? I think that's a good approach. You know, this. What's that? It's a good approach. We went over the, the fact that if it's done the other way, not good. Not no. good. No. So we so got to do it this way. We got to do it this way. Okay. So um, <clears throat> do I have a motion 
to move $183,000 into capital stabilization. I make a motion we move $183,000 into capital stabilization. And it doesn't need to be here. Marked. Does not. I don't got to be here. Mark. Okay. It's got to be earmarked. Got to be. Okay. To be earmarked for the new air packs for the fire department. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Just also, point of order. So that means when you move it out, it's for that purpose. It's for that purpose. Otherwise, you need an article to rescind it. Okay. okay. And if, then appropriate for another purpose. If we get the grant. Right. Then we. So, so that's what we'll do if we get the Yeah. Grant. So the minutes just make sure, Jess. So if you're earmarking it, which is fine, I did that all the time yeah. before. Yep. If you get the grant, then when you want to use that money again and move it out, the first thing you need to do is an article to rescind Same. the earmark and then make a motion to reappropriate it for another purpose. Okay. Okay. Do we have to earmark it? Do we have to what? earmark it? I, I think so. So let's say it's three years or two years and none of you are here, let's just say. Yeah. Who's going to know that you had this discussion and we're 100% right. committed to it? Okay. So yeah. that's why you do it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, 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 would a question on the grant application not say have funds been appropriated or earmarked for this? Is they not going to ask that? It just seems like... He's already applied for the grant and it says oh. they haven't been earmarked. Yeah. Oh, it's already been applied for. It's, it's already been applied for. Okay. I know this is a little squeegee, but um, sometimes you know, and you got you got to do what you got to do. What you gotta do. So before you vote, I just want to also tell you that when you vote this into stabilization, you have two hundred sixty-eight thousand four hundred fifty-five left of free cash. What's that? It. Yep. Okay. Before that, you had four hundred fifty-one. And then you'll have 268. And we use two and a quarter to offset the rate. That's no. already figured it's already figured okay. off the top. Okay. Yeah. And started off, you have 561, 590, 592 to play with, mm -hmm. with 225 already used. Okay. Just are there any of these things that we have already discussed? That are eligible or can be funded. With some other ARPA, ARPA, or I know on it says uh, the Skims van is says uh, ARPA per selector. So potentially, let's see. So the purpose of the ARPA money is for revenue replacement. Lost, lost revenue during the pandemic, okay? Right. A revenue replacement, lost services or whatever. So, um, I know. Well, it's a lot. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Lynn is not showing those as possible um, sources. And it's hard for me to say because um, the board hasn't reviewed what they want to find with the ARPA. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But I would say for the ones you've approved already, no. No. Okay. I'm not saying you can't use ARPA. I'm saying that likely the select board would not be inclined to do that because these are true capital items. What? <laughs> early on, you said there was 118000 in ARPA. Yeah. And it has to be used by December 31st. 31st. What else are we going to use it on? There's other things here that that we can use it on. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Her, there are other things. Her. Okay. So um it's only there. so we're all set with the 183 going over to capital stable stabilization, right? Yes. Can we vote it on it? Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay. Did we vote? Did vote? No, no, well, it didn't vote. And second, and let's vote on it. Okay. All those in favor of moving $183,000 of capital stabilization earmarked to replace the air packs for the fire department. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. Voted.
So our vote wish list far exceeds the funds available. Not to my knowledge, but we haven't drilled down on it because okay. we've spent a lot of it already. It was over four hundred thousand. Yeah. So um yeah. we did spend some last year. That's for sure. Okay. But they'll be they're talking about it at their meeting. All righty. Um we're gonna move now to the new pickup truck. And I'm just gonna put this is the highway pickup truck requested for sixty six thousand dollars. So before we jump on this, fortunately we have somebody here who can speak to it again as to whether or not this is the right number. Is this the right number? Yes. It is. Okay. Um you never know maybe yeah. he had a bad call and there was a yeah. sale on it or something. Okay. Okay. So this is uh this is to replace the highway um truck would be a four wheel drive truck crew cab. It's gonna be a crew cab extended cab extended, extended is the land okay um hybrid and it'd be a hybrid okay and um so with that is sixty six thousand dollars do we have any questions regarding this particular truck? Now, understanding that, no, we cannot provide you with a two-wheel drive Dodge or Ram single-cab pickup gas model because we belong to green communities. Right. And the green communities um, have provided the town with substantial amount of money um, every, every year. Right, Trish? Yep, and I'm getting that list from Sylvie too to show you. Okay, so we'll we'll uh, is that coming shortly or is that coming? I asked it for it today. Okay, all right. So that'll be next time. That'll be in the mail. Okay, but that's that is the fact. Of, uh, so we have to go hybrid. Um, we could go electric, but as we heard from the last discussion, that's probably not the way we should be going. Okay. Any questions? Oh, any comments about you know, providing the truck? The current truck has how many miles, Keith? Um, 90, 90 something, 90-something. Okay. All right. And it goes all day, every day. Okay. I make a motion we approve 66000 for the purchase of a new pickup for the highway department. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. All righty. So now we get into um, Wakely Elementary School duct clean. No. Library, library seal, exterior brick. You know something? I am always ahead of the game. No, I see. Okay, library reseal exterior brick. Um, yeah, we had a good conversation about that. Thank you. building. Right. Do we have a motion? I make a motion. We appropriate sixty-five hundred dollars for a reseal the exterior brick on the library. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, all those opposed? Okay. Got now yeah, we can get to the uh, duct cleaning. Okay, let's. We have the Yeah. Yes, we do. Well, I just want to make sure that the 225 isn't already built into this, right? Please, okay, time out. We just want to call them, okay? Yep. Otherwise, Otherwise yeah, we're all... Okay. If we took air samples at the Wheatley Elementary School, and the air samples tested out to be safe, would there be a need to clean the ducts for the next five years? Yeah. I or, think dude, regardless, if there's so much accumulated stuff in there, it's making the system be more inefficient. Okay, so it's efficiency as well. It's safety. efficiency and safety. And I'm a bit biased. My wife and children are in that school every day. Well, but it's been like that since. How, how, how old is that? 
What's that? 90. When do we vote? 90. 1990. 90? Yeah. Yep. What's the system of the balance? 34 years old. Yep. I, I don't know, but just about accumulation of like half of the inside of the house for all of these years, so all yeah. the allergies. Yep. I, I, I totally agree. But I also feel that if we did have a test, it would. It would test whether there's been a decrease in static pressure or an increase mm -hmm. in the circulation. You're good. You have to double check. We, we thought for sure no. you were wrong. Oh, you thought for sure I was wrong? Joey, had money. I had money on it. <laughs> it, it sounded too good to be true. All right. Well, that's. that's that's good. You know, it's, it's the point to so small. Yeah, right. Exactly. Well, whose fault is that? I want yeah. to know who thought I was wrong. Was yeah, pretty much. It was right around the board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody else is honest? What? Uh, I, I missed that. Thanks, Paul. Get? It was nothing. No. I was right. That's yeah, I'm sure you But the town of Hathville paid similar money to have theirs done. It's expensive. It's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. It's so it's something that's done over the summer. Okay. Is this on the duck cleaning? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. About, so why don't you give us some good news about duck cleaning? I think I cannot speak for the select board, but I think they will be inclined to use our funds for this. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because we're going to do all this for the splits. Yeah. It involves ducks, I think. No, right. it does. no it does not. No ducks. No, no, however, no. however it's, it's it's our <laughs> some money, and that comes out of the pandemic that we have, right? And germs are spread. Yes, doctors. that's why. So it's a good thing. That's Absolutely. Not, yeah. yeah. And the yeah. and the, the mini splits rely on the air that's coming through that ductwork. Yeah, they're not going to apply because it went through the per capita plan. See, that's the other thing. The yeah. process for capital depending oh. versus, yeah. yeah. But Maybe okay, so, mm -hmm. so we can kind of just skip over, right? right? Well, just or do we have to, or, or do we have to bring that in and then it comes out with the well, it didn't go through the capital planning process, but I would suggest, Mr. Chair, that maybe you could make a friendly motion to suggest to the board they consider it for our funding. In your wisdom. Matters from 150 parents? Yeah, that might work. I don't think you have to worry. <laughs> I make a motion we ask the selectmen to appropriate ARPA money to clean the ducks at the Waitley Elementary School in the amount of $34,440. So yes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. Okay, move. Okay. Okay. Next, we have the wage and class study. Somebody speak to this one more time. So, wage and class again, we didn't go through capital, but could be potentially APRA. But we believe we will have remaining funds in FY24 to possibly fund it. Okay. So, that's a H for you, a hold. Okay. But you don't have any. I mean, it'd be nice if you endorse it, but yeah, but we don't have to. you don't have to appropriate anything. Right. Okay. So we'll just get yeah. that over. So that's okay. Uh, which brings us now to the police cruiser. The police cruiser is being, the amount requested is $65,000. Would anyone like to speak to this expenditure? I think that. We're on, on a rotation to replace cruisers, correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. And the last one took two years again because of COVID. So is this the cycle for this current one to be replaced? No. Well, it is, but he doesn't want to replace it. He wants to keep his marked one and replace the one that, well, he wants to keep his unmarked one and take the one, the 18 that has a lot more miles on it that we just put a bunch of money into. Yeah. The, I thought he was going to make that the, 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 the detail, detail car. car. Yeah. We're going to have, my my argument is, we're going to have three cruisers for 
three full-time officers who virtually never work all at the same time. Right. I would be more in favor of taking a number and putting it into vehicle stabilization. Then you can we can earmark it for a cruise for another cruiser down the road. And then his comment was that there's only one hybrid cruiser left to give them and, one, one or two years. Right, right. They're and not, they're, well, I guess there's one now they're not making any more. They're not making any more. That's a, right now. They are not making any more for a few years. Chevy Blazers come next year. Uh, with a pursuit cruiser. A hybrid? And all electric. Who's doing it? Chevy. Chevy, Chevy is? Blazer. Yeah. A pursuit cru cruiser that's all electric. Oh, they are suited. Okay. Um, okay, police cruisers. Um, any other thoughts about this cruiser? We have one that it's a rotational issue. We have one that could be a manning issue. There's so many people. We have bus buildings downstream. Does green communities? Help out with this at all? There's a uh, Jim had something to say in the chat. He said three cruisers were used three times last week alone for numerous calls. Well, I thought it's a mutual aid or, or local or doesn't um, matter. I'm not sure that's what he said. So, so go, go um, oh, okay, go ahead. No, for green communities. Okay, no. actually, they exempt public safety for a couple of things like the anti either and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So um if if we um okay so they're not gonna jump on this because it's okay. I had a question about this and it went away and they can't get it back. <laughs> Son of a gun. Anyway um, well, if they're using all free vehicle like one more than once in the last two years. I don't think that speaks to a need for having that 18, that 18 will have 200,000 miles on it. Yeah. And get replaced next year. Mm -hmm. um, no, they're, because they're not using it. It's not a frontline cruiser anymore. It's a. Which one are you talking about? The 18. Yeah. That's the one you use it for. Detail. Yeah. Okay. It's it's technically going to replace the sedan that we're going to get rid of. Mm -hmm. So he's got two frontline cruisers. He's got his unmarked one and he's got a brand new one. And he's got the 2018, which is the detail car. Now. Okay, that's and he wants a third one. Well, let's just. Let's make a list. Are you, wait, I guess I, 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 the way I understand the there, there's five. no change in number of cars. He's not adding any cars. No. He's getting rid of the sedan. That's how I understood it. That's how I understood it. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. He was still in a different slot. That's all. It's still part of the rotation. Every two years, like you said, Jim says, you get that other one. So, hey, if we don't get this uh, hybrid, then they're going electric. Or they or gas. Or or gas. gas. And we may not didn't you say there's only two available? One, there's one hybrid available. And they didn't want an EV because as a frontline cruiser, they don't meet standards. But Chevy may be coming out with something to make well a hybrid's not a bad option. No, it's not. It's better than a level Um Okay, so Trish, just so we have this on record, if we were not to fund this, so we were to take $65,000 out of this, what would the impact be on the tax rate? You haven't, you, we're, it's we're, free cash. So yeah. what you're saying is if you didn't fund this, are you saying you'd put another so sixty five thousand uh, from free cash to, to balance the budget? Three hundred thousand to reduce the tax rate? Yeah. Can we do that? But we don't have anything left and we don't have what would be left 
Sure. So right now you have 195,955, and with the cruiser addition, you'd be at 130 change. Okay. What's vehicle stabilization? Vehicle stabilization has 63,000 in it. Why don't we just use that? Because then you're depleting that. So when you're going to use, what are you going to use it for? Two years for another cruiser, truck, but I mean, at some point you're going to use it. You're going to use it to fix vehicles. You're going to use it to rent vehicles. Well, by I me, mean, to, to me, it was like an insurance policy almost that if if we wrecked a, a cruiser or a pickup or a dump truck or anything, any town vehicle, and we needed to replace it immediately for whatever reason, you had some money to get started with. Why would insurance cover that? No, it still go to insurance. Could we use some of that money to refund capital? Jim made a comment and said the money is in, is currently in vehicle st stabilization. That's what it was created for. I think thinking back, we put money in there towards so, so new vehicle purchases. Yeah. 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 So with that said. What if we took half of vehicle stabilization? I'm not going to recommend it one way or another. So if you're looking at the wrong guy. Okay. What if we took half of vehicle stabilization? Um, and to offset the 65 here and that just bring. How much is in stabilization, vehicle stabilization? 63,000. 63. 63, 63. 63. So I so, think we should use it all. Yeah, I would. Use it all all except the sixty-five. Sixty-three thousand and thirty-three dollars. Well, I'm gonna go with the consensus, but my preference would be to leave half in the stabilization fund and fund half of it. I mean, I agree okay. that's some degree of insurance. You wreck a vehicle, you don't necessarily get insurance coverage immediately. I, I don't like to put you back to zero. If you got to rent a vehicle, then I agree with you. All right. I really would like to allocate the whole amount, but I'm going to go with the group and, and try to come up with a compromise that we all yep. live with if that is something to tell. Any other thoughts? Just half. half. You said half, right? Yeah. yeah. So is it okay. half or just 30,000? Or just 30. We do 30, then we'll put 35, fund 35 to 30. I'm not going to have to stop it. Um, so I And, okay. Um, what would your answer be to the whole thing? No. Yeah. Just no. No. I don't think he needs a third cruiser. New or you know relatively new. Um, does he have three dependable, two dependable cruisers now? He has two dependable. Yep. Well, well, my, did you get the computer? No, you did. No. No. You good? You're good. It's you just water. That's all it is. Um, okay, but what we're also looking at is is the uh, it's got distracted. No. <laughs> so we get 63 in vehicle stabilization. This this vehicle is 65. Um, as we said, if we took it completely off the table, um, it would not make a great difference in taxing. Taxing. Oh, the difference between the is he is he buying a car every year basically? Mm, no. Like you said, it was two I mean, well, six, six years. year lifespan, five, six year lifespan of the car. The front line marked cruiser, probably. Okay. Uh just the wear and tear and the amount of, the amount of miles that it gets put on it. Yeah, I mean, the unmarked one is a, that's a good one. whatever it is, and it's only got seventy thousand on it or whatever. I think it's actually more than that because 
capital planning plan on who's every five years. Um, but that's not based against one cruising that's on the first line here. As they get older, they start to break down. But yeah, so, so they, there are multiple within that stage you know, getting to it where they have to be replaced. Five years to replace each cruiser or a cruiser? A cruiser. A cruiser. A cruiser. Nothing is in sequence. Is Whatever is the worst one of the bunch. Sometimes you get a lot now. It'd be nice to explain it. Out. If a car is sixty thousand dollars, put one of thousand here three years. So you have it knowing that every three years you're placing the end of two car in the well, last six we years. We do have a capital budget. Mm -hmm. And you know, there, there was a year number in place to replace these cruisers. Mm -hmm. and, but he doesn't want to replace the one that's technically up to be replaced this year, which is his. Unmarked cruiser. Um, Jim said a new cruiser would extend the life to every six years at least. Okay. Well, look, to put that right here. We um, we were able we we will be able to fund the duct cleaning of thirty five thousand dollars through office funds. We hope. We, we hope. A uh, wage and class study seven thousand dollars. So that's over forty. That's going away from the budget and over to ARPA funds, we hope, no guarantees. Um, we also just took 183 and put it into capital stabilization for backpacks, which may come through as, as a grant. And if we do, that money is there to be reappropriated. So, um, so at this point in time, I think the suggestion that we take $30,000 from vehicle stabilization and fund 65 in the budget and then let the cruiser be ordered. Thoughts? I like the six year rotation suggestion. Yep. Yep. So he says. And yeah, somehow we got out of sequence. I, I I was thinking about that. I don't know. Well, it's probably really? like COVID and, and so anyway. Um all right, let's go on. Make a motion. Oh, okay, do we have a motion? Repeat the term the motion. Sorry, I missed it. Okay. So the motion is that we fund the police cruiser at sixty-five thousand dollars by taking $30,000 from vehicle stabilization and funding $35,000 of that cost within the budget itself. Second. From free, from free cash. From free cash. You got a second? second? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Opposed. Okay, we got a one. Okay. Love that conversation. Okay. Um, regional capital projects. Let's go. Let's take a look at uh, the stretcher for South County EMS at $5,866. Um, personally, when he comes in here and he, I realize he's new to the job and he just, start of the process, but that he was projecting a revenue of $800,000 and he had a cost, well, we saw his cost, they're in here, and it was somewhere around six, five to six. That's a pretty good gap. Um, why isn't it being funded, you know, from that source? Uh, so, I mean, I know it's not a ton of money, it's, but it's, it's the... Uh, it's the thought that uh, there's a revenue stream over at SCEMS that I, I would think would be covering these kind of costs. Chris, what do you think about that? What is the retained earnings notation in the total amount? So they, that's, they're going to pay for it out of the retained Yeah, that's what it seems like. They're yeah. going to pay for it, right? Yeah. So we don't, we're not paying for it, are we? 
done. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to do a thing. I mean, but it, it's something you should be kept informed about. Well, and it's something that should have gone through the capital plan. Right, did not. It was never brought up to some capital punish. Okay. I should read my notes a bit. Sorry, folks. Um, patient loading system is being withdrawn. And it's on the report, Dan. Yeah, I didn't see it on a request. It's anticipated capital projects from people organizations. Yes, yeah, I didn't read that. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, Okay, so all three regional pro projects that are being funded, some other way, withdrawn, right? Right. And then the and and it's going to be ARPA. ARPA it's on the ARPA list for the board okay. to consider. Again, to go through capital and she brought it up, I think. And right. I think they mentioned it because it's on the. Um, Okay, we're there. All right. Um, transfers to general stabilization capital vehicle in a building. Um, seeing how we just depleted yeah. uh, vehicle stabilization by 30,000. Uh, um, I don't know if we have to. We've got 35 in there. We could wait till next year to do that. And then. Um, how much is got, how much we got left in free cash? One sixty nine five five. I think that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. I think going in. Yep. Yeah. Okay. No. 150 I mean, it'd be although Paul and I did talk about this. I think you should really consider your stabilization funds as a regular expenditure, yeah. just like an operating budget. Yeah, but it's, you need to put money into them. That's what I'm saying. You yeah, yeah. To put it in twenty thousand, ten thousand. <laughs> right. I'll Just like it. your tradition is to use money to stabilize the tax rate, your tradition is also to plan for the years. Yes. Yeah. Um. Currently, what what do we have in the stabilization account? So I know you gave it. She. You have uh, 374, 366 in regular so stabilization, capital yeah. stabilization 251, 951, vehicle stabilization before your vote uh, to move out 30,000 was 63033, and the town building stabilizations at 91,833. Sorry, Jamaica. General stabilization. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, um, Okay. And we've got 169 left. 169.55. So it's about 169. What do you figure the refresh is going to be in September? That's a crap shoot. No. What was it last year? 591. 591? Where is that? Okay. It was actually 600. It was more than that. It's after you take up the 225. Free cash available after 225 to reduce the weight. Okay, so add 225 to that. So it's seven more than that. So eight. No, seven. Oh, yeah. Eight. eight. I don't know. It depends on the departmental turn backs. Your revenues are up, uh, local receipts are up a little. Mm -hmm. Um, so mm -hmm. okay. I don't know either. Um, but we have to, we should put something in there. Um, you know, I think stabilization, the stabilization over the past few years, um, we really haven't touched it that much. And we're definitely having a special. So if you want a way to get certified free cash, you can't have a special until after you have certified free cash. Mm -hmm. um, Which won't be till September. Yeah, on the 10th, like you said. Um, 
that's a consideration, although, I mean, the physical concerns have like to see something going now, but yeah. if you commit to doing something in a special. But we are sort of bare bones right now yeah. to pull any more to go into stabilization funds that already have cash in them versus waiting until we see what the refresher is from the state and then at that point in time vote to put a certain amount of money into stable stabilization funds are you comfortable i'm comfortable with that but okay. my it's not so much a concern but one thought is that Let's say just for a number, yeah. In October first, we have certified free cash of eight hundred thousand, yeah, and we take a hundred thousand of it and put it into various stabilization accounts, yeah. Then when we go to start the budget next year, yeah. instead of starting with eight hundred, we're going to start at seven hundred, yeah. So you're going to use less of it to reduce all the tax rate, all the tax rate, yeah. So I am. I'm all in favor of putting something in, but. I just don't think you could get below that number. That hundred. I don't I, that, I'm that not uncomfortable on that hundred that hundred and a half, yeah, from now till October. Right. And so that's a little the town this size and the expenses that we have, and, and uh, you know, some towns run it right down to nothing. But I know that yeah. Well that's not that's, that's, that's not a prudent. Fund. No, but that's not yeah, one that our, conservative in me says don't run it down. There must be a rule of thumb. That. It really you know, is that a percentage of your budget. Yeah. Right. Am I, or am I thinking of something? Mm -hmm. No. Well, that's that's true. Brian told us that it was a percentage, percentage of all reserves. Of all reserves. All reserves. I want to say five. It's been a while for me, but of all reserves. Okay. Um, but I, I agree. So if I add up all the stabilizations and that's multiply it by yeah. five. So if you were going to go out to borrow money, right, or do a bond, and a rating agency came in, they're going to look at all your reserves, mm -hmm. not just your free cash. They'll look at your free cash history, your operating budget, your rate of, and your capital and all those, but they'll look at all your reserves. And they'll be And that's what's, yes. Reserves. And they'll be very happy to see your stabilization funds. Right? Yeah. So, um, I think Green thing right now is to wait until October to see what the new free cash is going to be. And if we don't spend any of that 161, then that's there for next year. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. I screwed it up. Okay. Yeah, we're. Okay. Well, you know, five percent of what was it? Three, five, two, some, one point two. Yeah. I think we're in there. To tell you the truth, um, I think we're a little over. Okay, yeah, we're over a lot. We're, you know, we're, if five percent is the number. Okay. We should only have about 60,000 yeah. by that formula. Yeah. So yeah, when yeah. October rolls around, I'm, I don't know. And we have another special, and we can have a special town, we have a special, we can have a meeting so that the information goes to the select board so that it, that's part of the, what's voted, voted on, then we'll be all set. Okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Right. So can I just run down because I want to make sure yes. I reflect everything. Yes. So we have fifty-four thousand for the installation of the electrical sub panels, sixty-three thousand for the installation of the mini split pumps, ten thousand for the floor flooring replacement in the restrooms, yep. thirteen five for the exterior door replacements, mm -hmm. one hundred eighty-three thousand into capital stabilization for the air Scott Air Packs. Mm -hmm. Uh, a hundred uh, thirty thousand from vehicle stabilization and thirty five thousand from free cash for mm -hmm. the police cruiser, right. and two hundred twenty five thousand from free cash towards reduction of the tax rate, exactly. which I think you need a motion and a vote. We didn't vote on that, one. right? So I would have never said that. 
So we're not okay. The truck and oh, and the pickup truck. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sixty-six thousand and the library brick for sixty-five. Sixty-five. So what's the number we are voting? We are voting. You don't have to vote a total number because you can vote at them all individually, but you Correct. have to vote two twenty-five to reduce the tax rate if that's your okay. pleasure. Okay, we can do that right now. Do we have a motion to Make move two hundred twenty-five? Go ahead. Twenty-five thousand of free cash to reduce the tax rate. I'll second it. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. All those opposed? Aye. Or nay. Nay. Sorry. Nay. We got a nay. Okay. We got passes. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So that's uh now. Um. Okay. We got to move back to schools. the schools. Okay. And. We will vote um Wheatley Elementary School operating by the two million fifty four thousand eight hundred fourteen dollars for an increase of one hundred and eight thousand four hundred and ten dollars for a difference of five point five seven percent. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Next, we have Frontier Regional School. Again. What, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That elementary school budget from that math tutor, they asked for? I, I believe it does. Yes. I believe it does. Yeah. And I, the, the, the big thing was the transportation costs that were high. Right. Yeah, transportation costs. That out. will change. New contracts for five years, right? So they must have changed. They shouldn't have to join the system. They should have. We should plan for this in five years. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Frontier Regional School, 2025, $1,035,638. With increase of $89,370, which represents a 9.44% increase. Motion to so move. So move. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. So then we run down the Franklin County Technical School total. $221,974. It's a decrease of $47,934 from previous year, um, which represents a minus 12.96%. Um, so moved? So yeah. moved. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Yes. Okay. Um, Jim, we'll take debt service from here. Debt service comprised a temporary loan enter, excavated or lease purchase agreement. We chip the lease purchase agreement totally 49,660 with a 0% increase over the prior year. Okay. Any questions about the debt service in some of these? Make a motion to appropriate $49,660 to front debt service. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. Enterprise fund. Water department total fund budget two hundred fifty nine thousand forty nine dollars and twenty three cents for a decrease of three thousand nine hundred eighty dollars and seventy seven cents and that's a negative one point five one percent questions comments okay. do I have a motion no move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. Um, I guess that's it. Rich, you think that's it? I hope so. It's a wrap. <laughs> um, do we need to vote a total number? Okay. All right. So we get this bottom number and all of that. And, uh, okay. Motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 
That's it.